story. A land formation just miles from our Pinellas County beaches continues to grow. And as more people discover it, some nature enthusiasts worry about its future. I found it's a balancing act between the birds and the boaters. This is this is the childhood of my dreams. Boater Patricia Gilroy points out majestic white pelicans dotting shallow waters as we approach this shoal just west of Fort DeSoto is known by most visitors as Outback Key, but rare birds are starting to call it home. We saw an America abandoned American oyster catcher, one of the five target species that have their nesting protected in the state of Florida. That's how cool this place is for the birds. Shorebirds are easy to spot, including federally protected species. I think we have some piping plovers over here. Bird advocate Lorraine Margison explains perfect shorebird nesting and feeding conditions exist here. Habitat like this is far and few between in the state of Florida, period. But it's threatened by irresponsible or uneducated boaters. With more human traffic, you see you know, more litter. Dozens gather on Outback Key on weekends. Margison warns, look out for hard-to-spot nests and hatchlings. Keep dogs leashed and kids controlled. Officials don't want to restrict access. That is not our intention at all, um, but that's why it's so important that everybody pitch in and do their part. When you come out to a place like this, just use your brain. Look, but don't touch. That is just freaking awesome. Oops, sorry about the freaking part. <laughs> it really is beautiful out there, yeah. And we've heard worse. Well, I also reached out to Pinellas County Parks. They tell me if past cycles associated with this sand formation hold true, it is expected to attach to Fort DeSoto Park. Now, if and when that happens, that's when the county may have a more involved role in protecting it.